another episode. I just been doing some random stuff ever since I got back from Nevada. And I have really been doing a lot of just more political and things that are a little more just sort of, how do you call it? Current events. Yes. I've been doing current events. And because of that, I have not been catering to some of my more subscribers who are more interested in love, relationships, dating, all of that. Women, empowerment. Oh my goodness, so much has happened. So anyway, today's topic is about love beyond labels. And that is going to be a series. So what we're talking about when we say love beyond labels, when I say love beyond labels, and as you know, when I do my series, I hit it, hit it. So there's going to be one of these every week. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you can be with us as we discuss love beyond labels. Did I say labels? I think I said labels. Yeah, I did. Okay, so love beyond labels. Why did I come up with this topic? I came up with the topic because my own dating life here lately, 2024, I have been labeled difficult. What's the other word? Ooh. We can't say some of this on uh, YouTube. They going to cancel me. You get the picture. Anyway. So, yeah. You know? And I'm like, dude, I'm not like that. Okay. I have spent a lot of energy and time in, in defining myself. Right? I know who I am. I know what I want. And it wasn't, I hate to even say it, but it wasn't even until this year that I discovered out there in the desert, <laughs> looking a hot ass mess, okay? But let me tell you what I discovered. <laughs> y'all, 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 you the shit. <laughs> yes, you are. Why? Because number one, I'm a caring, giving, loving person. I put my all into everything I do. When I'm with a man, I am the ride or that. Okay? Not that. We're not dying when I'm riding, but I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to let that happen. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a leader. I lead. I'm a provider. I provide. I'm a fighter. I fight for my family and those I love. With that being in mind, I still been married twice. And I did leave both times. But yeah, youth, inexperience, and just allowing myself to be picked. Okay? Allowing myself to be picked instead of choosing. So now at 55 years old, I'm into choosing. And when I go to the market, I know what I want. Sometimes I get the ploofing down the aisles, seeing what's new, what's for sale. But when it comes to a man, (laughs) baby, I know what I want. And so why would I go to the dollar store when I should be at the fresh market? Okay. These are the things that, you know, we get labeled for. So today's topic is about learning to love beyond the labels. But when I say beyond the labels, I'm not saying forget the labels. People are going to label you because they don't know what else to do. That's what they do. People label you like I'm difficult. Mm. Next, tell me something I don't know. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to stay difficult. Why? Because this world ain't got nothing for us. Go back and watch 90-something of the other videos, okay? The world don't have nothing for 
us. As black women, we owe it to ourselves to get what we want. So one of the biggest challenges of strong women in relationships is being labeled difficult. But I don't I don't think that men are fully and truly understanding of what it means to be labeled difficult, right? Because we go out in this world outside of the doors and we're labeled difficult. We're denied opportunities because we're difficult. We are oftentimes cast aside because we are difficult. Look at Kamala Harris. The stuff dumb people say about her, <laughs> babe, bad. Kamala had that with class, okay? But I like when she say, if you got something to say it to my face, no, yes, because you're small, man. You're small, you're puny. And that's what we have to just love about ourselves. When she said that, I was like, that's what's up. Ain't nobody got no when they go low, we go high. Okay. Somebody, some of y'all out there, y'all go high when they go low. Me and Kamala, <laughs> lean them suckers out. Look, look, lay them out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, I digress again. So, this is the deal. So, you want to think about it as why is a person being difficult? Why are they just not laying down like a rug in the mud, letting you walk on over them? Because that's what people would do. And so as women, as strong-willed women, we, no matter your color, race, creed, where you at, where you from, look at the women over there in, is it Iran? They over there like, (laughs) we is taking these little rags off our head. We just got our hair done. We're going to show this shit. Fuck y'all. Okay. And they're dying for it. And you're going to tell me over here in America? We can't even wrap our mind around not voting for the spray tan racist man, sex abuser, okay? It's women dying to take off a hat, a job, whatever it is, okay? And so those are very strong-willed women. And I am so proud of them. I wish them all love and all strength in the struggle. And if I had Elon Musk's money, I'd send a team over there to teach them how to shoot, give them weapons, and let it do what it do. Anyway, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So, as we go, I want to talk about how we can reinforce the thought and the idea that social expectations should not be allowed to cloud the judgment of how we think about ourselves, right? Because when we as women take on the outside world saying, oh, you difficult, oh, you this, then next thing you know, you start letting everybody walk all over you, like I said, like a rug in the mud. Instead of embrace it, okay? Be difficult, okay? First of all, why should I not be difficult? I have fought hard, suffered losses for Every step in my life that I have taken to get me to a better place, to get my family to a better place, to get my ex-husbands to better places, okay? Boyfriend to better places. 
Why shouldn't I not now be difficult? To the extent of, you got to me something. If you're not showing me nothing, you're not getting nothing from me. Is that difficult? Okay. I don't know if it's difficult or not. It's not difficult. But it is the truth. And so as I've, you know, plunged into the dating world, you know, in the past year, and we think about it, every time you meet someone and every time you come across, you know, these different men, whether I meet them in person or I have done a dating site thing, but uh, that's weird. But I did, you know, and that's what spurred this video. So... And just be perfectly honest, man. Anybody I dated, and you've watched the video, and it's the truth, because I ain't got no reason to lie to know my tag because <laughs> I'm never gonna match. <laughs> I know that, and I embrace it. Okay? Stop! I ain't got to cut that part out. Stop! Get your butt over there. Take again. <laughs> Like I said, I'm difficult, so I'm going to go with it, okay? I'm going to embrace it because of this. You do the little dating sites, what's the different ones, match and the Facebook, all of them, whatever. And so for me, I get a large number of interests. However... As they liking and commenting and sending phone numbers and this and that, it's just some of them are just the comments and everything. They're not very kid friendly, I shall say. <laughs> and so I usually just ignore that. And if it's too, I delete it. I block them. However, in the select few that I do decide to interact with, people get pushy. Like, I sent you a message and you didn't send me one back. Really? Really, dude? Or you get to the place where the message leads to a phone number and it's, I sent you a good morning text. You ain't send one back. I don't do good morning text, whatever. But after that particular situation, I wrote this cute good morning text that AI helped me write. And then I cut and pasted to all the news that was on my dating list. Bloop, 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 bloop. I said the same thing to all of them. Why not? <laughs> They're doing that. That's why I'm like that. And I did it almost to prove a point to myself. Like, come on. Ain't nobody got time. If you cannot pick up the phone, call me by my name and say, Sonia, what you got going? Blah, 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 blah. How your day? How your mom and them? How this? How that? Blah, blah, blah. Then you just cutting and pasting. Good morning, sexy. <laughs> you might send this shit out 500 times. <laughs> Ain't nobody got I'm not responding to that. The fuck? Anyway, so yeah, there was a couple of other things that I think I did that made him feel like I wasn't interested. So I'm going to get to the point. And this brother was fine. Oh my God. But that's the problem, too. You know? Because when people are fine, they think they can just act any old kind of way. And you're going to be like, uh, okay, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> you ain't show me no bank account statements. You want me to act? <laughs> okay, show me some money. You show me some real money, some you want to be with me, and some you ain't going to have to work no more or do nothing, then I, <laughs> okay. But if you ain't got that, get out of with that bullshit, okay? You cute, but damn, give me a break. <laughs> anyway. So the point is this. So dude did something again with the text in me. And this was a mid-afternoon text. And I must admit, I could have responded back. But I was watching something. 
I think I was watching Alabama game. Yeah, I was watching a football game. And, and anybody know me? No. I don't bro tie. I don't play my game. And so I did look at my phone, and then I said, hmm, I'm watching the game. It's almost off. It's third quarter. I'll call it when it's over. Somehow, I guess it pissed it him off. So he sent me a message talking about Wait a minute, did he send some mail? He, I think he sent a voicemail saying, basically, you think you the shit? You think you this? You think you that? Okay, yeah, you're beautiful, but I am too. I'm wanted too. You are uh, ignoring me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude. And then he was like, and you, this is what you gonna miss. <laughs> He sent me a ding-dong pick. <laughs> I was like, wow. I really ain't going to miss that. <laughs> but anyway. You can't miss what you never had. The point is this. He was upset with me because, stop, I... <laughs> Wouldn't respond to his messagings. Now, let's get to the point. Nowhere did this man say, Sonia, let's meet for dinner. Sonia, let's meet for coffee. Sonia, come to the park. Let's have a picnic. Let's talk. Let's be face to face. Let's get to know each other like real people know. And the fact that you will send me a ding dong pick, I told, no, when I told him, I said, the Holy Spirit knew what he was doing. Because you sent me this and <laughs> you're not what I want next. And I ain't think nothing of it. And then I was telling one of my friends, like, yeah, this is what happened. And it was like, why didn't you call him back? I was watching the game. Well, that's why I see you down there, down. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not breaking my neck, bending over backwards for nobody that ain't breaking their neck, bending over backwards for me. Text messages and dick pics. The fuck? That, that that don't move me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's you. That's you. That's what your brain is on, dude. Your brain is on that. I'm not on that. Okay? Now, if I was on that and I just showed up, hit it, rode it like a dang on ranger, and then ghosted your ass, then what? I'd be up, you know what? It's like you can't win for losing. I don't have no time. If you don't put enough energy into the alleged courting, then I'm just, you know, I'm not going to stop my daily life. I have TV shows. I have work I be working on. Naps. Videos to make. I <laughs> get time to be changing my day. Anyway, so I say all that to say that labeling a person difficult is damaging. It's damaging to them. It's damaging to their self-esteem. And it's also damaging to the other person that's calling you difficult. Because a person is difficult and, and because they're not giving you what you want, what you need. The question you need to ask yourself is, what are your values? What is it that you're calling a person difficult because they just don't succumb to your uh, ringing the bell or something? Okay? What else you can do? Okay? Can you do something else other than ring for my existence? Okay, don't nobody look. We don't have time for that. Labels make a person feel like they have to tone it down. Like they're just, they're doing too much. And I'm going to tell you, ladies, you're not doing too much. These men are doing too little. Because let me tell you, when somebody really about you, let me tell you, they will be about you. Okay? I was walking down the street playing with my doogie doogie. And you know what? This gentleman rode by and was like, whatever. I didn't even pay attention. 
until later on, dude, Buster Yui came over there, parked his truck. I thought, oh, he must live over here or over there. But no, he was like, I just wanted to get out and introduce myself because you and your dog, y'all just cute, y'all beautiful. I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, hey, that felt great to have somebody like, okay. And I wouldn't dare, as you know, drive in my car and speak to you. I wanted to get out, speak to you invite you to starbucks or something and we can meet up there and you know i'm saying that's respect i mean you know i can respect something like that because it shows that i'm okay for you to stop what you're doing Stop your whole life, whatever appointment you was going to, whatever you was doing in your businessman suit, looking cute. Park your car, get out, walk over to a cray cray looking black lady who was not looking like this for real on them streets that day. And come up to my German Shepherd who is not very well trained. She barking, she will bite. But you're taking all them chances, all them risks to introduce yourself? Then yes. Yes. You will not find difficulty with me with that. Okay? But you, good morning, sexy. Who don't care for shit? You could be talking to 55 other bras with that because I done cut and pasted it too. Okay? No. So just know your worth, ladies. Know your worth. And then when people say you're difficult, you often have, just like that gentleman, what he wanted to do was tame me. Like some kind of jungle on it. Dude, we don't need all of that. This is not that. We don't have to do all of that. Ain't nothing wrong with me and I don't need to be fixed. You're just boring. How about that? Okay. You're not fun. You're not entertaining. Okay. I don't want to sit around here and look at your muscles. Yeah. Is that all you have to offer? I got a couple of documentaries I could be watching. Okay. We as women have to know our worth. And like I said, it took a lot for me to get to a place where it's like, I know my work. I know my work. You can put it on the outside, but that don't mean you have it on inside baby you know what i'm saying you gotta get that on the inside i know some allegedly high power people who don't know they worth at all allow themselves to get treated any old kind of way as a matter of fact sometimes the smarter the more educated the more higher paying positions and stuff like that, women are the most small inside because they let people walk over them. They want to be accepted. They want to be respected. But you're not respected if you let somebody walk over you like a rug in the mud. No, they walking over you. I cannot count. I would need two, three hands to count the number of women I have known, black, white, other, who men have just destroyed every ounce of their being. No, let me tell you something. Be difficult, ladies. Okay, because difficult, all that means is you got to work for it. Okay, you just can't come in here. No, you have to do work. You have to be what you need to be. If you're not going to be that, then be gone. <laughs> okay, that's what you do. Okay, because if you're not going to treat me with respect, Okay, you're not finna be disrespecting me. You're not finna be treating me like I don't matter. You're not gonna make me lower my self esteem. Mm mm. Girl, bye. Mm mm. Let me tell you, let me tell you. If a man tell me, oh, well, if you don't want me, somebody else do, I'd be like, <laughs> what's that broad number? Call her. Let her come get your ass. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not putting up with that shit. I don't care who will. It's not my business. Okay? 
me tell you something else I learned out there in that desert. I learned how to mind my own damn business, okay? Because like I told you about all them friends and all that drama they go through, I don't care no more. I used to care. I used to go through all the hoops and out here cap and save a hoe for people. And you know what? They dog me the fuck out. <laughs> I got dog the fuck out. I'm not going through this shit. Y'all going through this shit. And I get dogged out. And then when I dog out the person that I was with to try to give me some shit. It's like, oh, why you being like that? Because I ain't taking that shit, bitch. I ain't you. Oh, shit. Get the fuck on, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. And you know what? I embrace that shit. Okay? I love me. I love Sonya Ogletree. I love me. I love me. Okay? And I'm not going to dumb myself down for no fucking body ever again. Friend, foe, man, ho. I don't give a damn. Okay? Don't come in my circle. My circle is for love. Okay? And respect and pure being. I am not changing nothing about me. I'm going to stay who I am. But all that bull crap going to stay the fuck away from me. Huh? Huh, because I'm not dumb and Sonya down. I am 55. My mama 85. If the Lord give me 30 more years, they're going to be 30 fabulous ass years. I'm not having a bad day with nobody. Okay? When I love, I love hard. I love strong. So guess what? Work for that shit. Okay? Smoky good. God, God cookies all over the place. Okay? I love men and I love sex. And I'm good at it. And I'm cute and I'm beautiful. And I work at that shit too. So I ain't taking no shit. Anyway, I digress all the way. <laughs> I just got in my moment. You know what I'm saying? I don't need fixing damn it shit. Fix yourself, okay? Oh, let me tell you, I had a couple hundred thousand dollars in there. I'm fixed. Okay? I don't fuck with nobody. <laughs> but you sure ain't finna come up here and fuck with my piece. Mm -mm. And so, is that difficult? Hmm. I don't know. But I tell some people, you know, when I was out there in Vegas, <sighs> Nevada, well, we was north of Vegas. But anyway, yeah. So when I was out there, I used to tell them people, let me tell you something. You sitting here crying, having a fit. And I ain't going to lie, I spent a lot of time alone in my own room. Because I was like, this stuff y'all talking about, I, I been stop giving a fuck about this kind of shit. Okay. I mean, you sit here crying because, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, Lord. Oh, my God. See, I... <laughs> you can't care what people think about you. Fuck them. You know what's in your heart. You know what makes you cry. You know what makes you tick. And I'm going to give it to people. Hey, look, you're not going to take away from my self-esteem. No, because I'm fabulous. I'm fucking fabulous, and I'm going to stay that way. And I'm not going to let you devalue me so you can feel good about yourself. No, unlike you, I got lots of hugs and kisses from my mommy and daddy. I feel fucking love. I was loved, I am loved, and I love love. So, if you want to be out here with this struggle love, struggle the fuck on, okay? <laughs> that shit don't work for me, okay? Shit, my daddy treated me like a princess, and my mama quitted me like a queen. So, no, right? I'm not ashamed of shit, okay? I'm not. Because you know what? When I get in the mud, I got to get it out the mud. 
I had to fight and scrap for all of my success. And I am the reason and the fuck up of all my failures. I have accepted all of that. And a relationship should bring me strength. It should bring me peace. It should bring me security. As a man, if you cannot bring that to the table, deuces. Anyway, we're going to talk about more of the labels because look at these fools. Look at these fools. Kamala Harris is the baddest bitch. <laughs> I just love me some Kamala Harris. I mean, I love Michelle too, but I ain't never like that. They go loud, we go high. Fuck that. No, body's going high. Let the mugs know. People treat you like ish, and they'll keep treating you like ish because you. I'm gonna be nice and prim. I'm gonna be nice and prim too. As long as you don't fuck with me. <laughs> Fuck with me, bad, bad. It's gonna go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a, like Kamala said, <laughs> we black, man. We all black around here. Okay. You liable to get smacked up. <laughs> I guess that being so stupid. <sighs> anyway, another one of those long rants. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, you know, as I go through this series, we're going to just talk about real-ish. Okay? Love beyond labels. Let me tell you something. I had this other dude. Mm -hmm. This was recently too. And this person I was with way back when. Anyway. Mm, he's so attractive, cute. <laughs> Got a couple of little coins to rub together. Let's see what's the what. <laughs> I purposely did my little damsel in distress thing with him occasionally. And it's like, oh, Sonia, you coming over tonight? What are we going to do? And so then I was just like, oh, well, this happened to my car or this happened with this. Can you help me? Oh, I'm sorry, but you coming over? I'm like, no, you can't do nothing for me. I can't do that for you. I got to go find somebody that can help me get my car fixed. I don't feel bad about that. I used to be so labeled. Here we here, here go a label. We're going to reverse that. Independent. Throw your hands up with me. Fuck that. Okay, I'm independent. But if you want to be over here in my independent draws, you better learn how to fix cars. Okay? I buy myself six, seven hundred, a thousand dollar shoes. Guess what? <laughs> Don't come up in here with no Hallmark fucking car on my birthday. You better go out here and, and you should. These are the things I do for myself. If you can't help me do or do for me the same things that I do for myself, why do I need you? I am independent. But I'm not masking around having a parade about that shit. Okay, I don't want to do shit by myself. I don't want to want somebody to be there with me so that we can hold each other down. Okay, so that we can work in conjunction with each other and we can really grab this life and squeeze it and get everything that's for us out of it. Independent. You an independent woman. You can do it yourself. I can. Mm -hmm. I could buy me a, 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 a vibrator too. Your weak ass. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <sighs> I'm going to stop because I got to stop. I got to stop. <laughs> Somebody was like, you need to stop cussing on your video. Mm. What I say to them? I'm not. I'm. I'm not 
trying to be the Sunday school teacher? Okay. This show is called Deliberations with Sonia. And when we deliberate him, we're talking and we're being real. And hey, this is me. This is how I talk. And once again, labels. Okay? Don't be labeling me. I'm a wonderful person. I'm highly educated. But that doesn't mean I have to go around like I'm from England. Stirring my tea. Oh, okay. But if there's an English million billionaire that is out there and you're like, hey, let me see what's up with her song. Yeah, I can learn to do this shit. <laughs> anyway, this has been Deliberation with Sonia. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and put it in the comments. What label has the world tried to lay on you? Okay? One of my really good friends out in Nevada is a Latina. And you know people that, oh, Latinas, they, oh, they so hot. And they get just real fiery, you know? No, people don't get fiery. When you a minority in this world, you done been through so much shit. You done took so much shit from so many people. And then here you are in a relationship. You let somebody into your life. And they bring you the same shit that the losers out on the street bring you. And you like, champagne. You know what I'm saying? It is what the fuck it is. Don't do that to nobody that cares for you. Don't do that to nobody that loves you. You deserve all that fire you about to get. I'm just saying, you know, these dudes today, lightweight, weak. Because you think you could treat people like just, ugh, goodbye. This has been Deliberation with Sonya. Like, share, subscribe. Put in the comments. Let me know what difficult things you have been labeled. And then let me know how you feel about it. Okay. Because one thing about me, I'm going to be seen, I'm going to be understood, I'm going to make sure. I heard some girl talking about something on YouTube, whatever, talking about some invisible black women. Your ass invisible because you want to be, okay? I'm not going to be invisible, okay? You say some cray-cray-ish to me, you come at me, you disrespect me, my family, my space, my people, I'm going to let you know. We ain't going to let no grass grow on that shit. That's childish shit. Okay, I'm a grown, beautiful, wonderful Christian woman. <laughs> but I will let you have it. Okay? Go low, go high. Fuck <laughs> that shit. It's been the liberation of Sonya. Holla at you, girl. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs>